fruit to tip for easy on Good morning everyone welcome back to my channel today's vlog is another Monday vlog um yeah yesterday I got back from a girl's trip I went to Arizona for the weekend it was super super fun if you guys follow my Instagram I saw it but yeah very exciting um and I was having just really bad allergies and then it progressively got worse I got back yesterday was so sick in bed all day like I've not missed church pretty much in like years and I was just like I'm out I need to sleep I was so sick my nose like feels so gross um but I can still like, I can breathe now so like that's a step in the right direction so yeah anyways this morning I woke up it's currently 9 a.m. I woke up at like 6 naturally because I slept all day yesterday also I started scandal so obsessed Olivia Pope is my hero uh, seriously so obsessed um but yeah I started scandal and Anyways, um, cleaned this morning, unpacked everything, just went through a bunch of stuff, showered, just got out of the shower, and here we are. Um, hopefully I feel better today. My friend Taylor's coming over in a few just to look through some clothes. I think we're going to go to Alfred and grab some breakfast, and then, yeah, um, I have some work and emails and just, like, homework to do. I actually really like my classes this semester, or this session, I should say, so if you guys want to talk more about, like, classes that I'm taking and stuff, let me know because they're like business classes too, and I feel like maybe you guys would be interested in that, I don't know, but yeah, so anyway, sorry that I'm under the weather, I don't want to say sick, but I really quickly wanted to talk to you guys about um, this new hair, it, hair, I was going to say hair and conditioner, this new um, shampoo and conditioner that I've been using, I get asked non-stop about like what hair products I use and stuff, and honestly, like I've never really talked about shampoo and conditioner because I'm always like, here's this like leave-in or here's whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I don't feel like I found a shampoo and conditioner that I love this much. So um, this is what I used this morning. It's the Lissetta Keratin Conditioner and then I have the shampoo and conditioner. They're both keratin. I know that I love keratin for my hair, but oh my gosh, so obsessed. And then I had the... Um, this is in the shower earlier and I tried to dry it. So here we are. Um, Keratin Smooth Hair Mask. So it's a smoothing and nourishing formula, co color safe, free of sulfates, paraben, and gluten. And it's like, seriously, so much product in here. Oh my gosh, the price of the point of these is amazing. You guys can get these online. I know they sell them at Amazon. They sell them at Lucetta Beauty. They sell them, where else did I see them online? You can also get them at Macy's. But basically you can go on lucettabeauty.com and then you take a hair quiz and then it tells you what you guys... Um, what's like best for your hair. I have the keratin bundle and this together was $32 for the quality of this. That is so, so good. If you guys go and you get like high end, nicer stuff that I would compare to this, it is way more expensive than that. Also, if you guys are not familiar with hair masks, you need to be doing them. My hair got so dry and hair masks are like what saved it. So like after you shampoo and condition your hair, you'd put this on and you leave it on anywhere from like five to 10 to 15 minutes. Five kind of being the shorter, if you really want like a very nourishing treatment, do it for 15 minutes and then you wash it out and your hair just feels so unbelievably smooth after it. Like my hair has not felt this good in literally, I couldn't even tell you how long and I absolutely love this. This is like the best stuff I've ever put in my hair. I am absolutely obsessed with it. I will have it linked down below for you guys. Again, I have the keratin conditioner and shampoo and then the keratin smooth leave-in or not leave-in the hair mask um but amazing if you, anyways i'm gonna have all this link down below you guys need to check it out add it to your hair care routine seriously absolutely the best that is it thank you to Lucetta for working with me on this video i will have the link down below okay guys i have a fun little small haul from arizona to show you guys we went to the zara sale and of course i bought two things that weren't on sale um and then i also got literally the best deal Ever that made my entire life. So we'll start off with that one. In Arizona, they have this thing called Nordstrom, um, well, not Nordstrom Act, Nordstrom Last Call. And so it's like the cheapest of the cheapest of the cheapest, right? So I've been wanting like a nice fanny over, like kind of crossbody fanny for quite some time, especially for running errands and like going to workouts and stuff because I just like, I would wear this literally every single day. Every day when I go to Pilates, I'm like, I need a crossbody fanny bag, like fanny pack bag, but I need to invest in one because I'll know I use it all the time. Anyways, so 
I had already had like my like been thinking about that and wanting to buy one for quite some time and then Dom was like Kinsey wait this bag is so cute didn't even know I was looking for one and it's Balenciaga um I got it for I believe it was like $626 which guys this bag originally is like $1800 so I got like the best deal ever on it and I'm literally gonna wear it all the time I'll wear it to like Coachella too and stuff it is just so convenient. It has this little thing in the back, which is really convenient for if you're going to, like, a festival or something. Um, and then just enough room for, like, everyday errands, but it's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to wear it all the time. Um, yeah, I'm just, it's so freaking cute. Okay, so this, like, these sweaters are very my style right now. I've been wearing them all the time. I wore a black one this weekend and, like, a little taupey one, but this one... First off, beautiful, such amazing quality. I believe it was only like $50, yeah, $50. Um, yeah, it's just so cute. I honestly don't really shop from Zara that much. My roommate gets the best jeans from them, but I just thought it was so cute and I'm gonna wear it to a shoot that I'm doing in Malibu tomorrow, which I'm really excited for. And then this one is just beautiful for every day. Um, I love this like periwinkle color. It's one of my favorite colors to wear actually if I wear an actual color. And I don't know, I just think it's so like pretty and cute and just casual. So, love these. Boom, you guys will see this in an upcoming video, but I'm going to wear it today, so I thought I might as well show you. Um, I wanted a bigger, like a new tote bag. Honestly, I wish this was like a little bit bigger, but I think it's actually going to end up being the perfect size for me. So this is like a Fendi bag, but I got it on ThreadUp, which I'm doing a video with them, so you guys will see this very soon, for like so cheap. Like it was like under 200 which for like a designer bag is such a good price, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just like, honestly, I've just been finding so many good deals. But this is stuff that I'm going to wear all the time and I really just wanted like a new tote bag. Especially for since I'm doing homework or since I'm doing school from home again and like working from home pretty much full time. I just wanted something to like throw everything in here either to go to the studio or to go to the coffee shops and work or whatever. But yeah, love this. Okay guys, having a glamorous Monday morning. I had to get some Vaseline to fix my nose and then I went and grabbed some coffee with my friend Taylor who I love. She just came by to grab some clothes and we got coffee. I ran into Chris Clemens and Ashley actually. Um, I always run into so many people at the Studio City. Alfred. But um, I'm currently picking out some outfits because I'm doing a shoot tomorrow in Malibu. I for sure know I want to wear that cream little sweater because it's like so perfect for Malibu. And then um, I want like a shimmery dress because it's going to be at sunset. This is shimmery and I like it. This is, like, honestly one of my most flattering dresses ever, and I know that I love it. And this one I've never worn, but I thought green would be kind of cool. I don't know. I honestly, like, I don't have exactly what I want for the shoot. I wish I would have kind of thought about this a little bit before. But, um, we're gonna see what ends up working out. Okay, I just got ready for the day. I'm actually gonna go work at a coffee shop in West Hollywood. But I'm wearing my normal jewelry. And then this sweater is from Free People. It's like the most comfortable sweater ever. I have it in black too. I'm wearing these really old jeans from Garage because I'm doing so much laundry slash I got rid of a bunch of other jeans. And then I'm just wearing some Reebok sneakers. So we're about to go to Starbucks. Here is my new bag that I'm going to be using today. And then I'm gonna use this as my purse. I also have my gym bag, so I'm gonna go to Pilates after. I need to get this white mark off, but it's actually the perfect size for like bringing something to go um, to a coffee shop or something. So, love that. So great. Just picked up the sweet green salad. It took literally forever, but I'm so hungry. Okay, we're at Starbucks currently. I'm planning out a video, um, but I had to get the Citrus Defender. Quentin ordered it for me. This is like the Trenta, whatever, right? Oh, this looks bigger than a Venti though, for some reason. Lots of stuff. Hopefully this makes you feel better. Okay guys, so I'm leaving Starbucks right now. I'm gonna go head off to my recording. I, does anyone else just feel weird in the afternoons? Like, I feel like I just feel so odd. And like, yeah, I don't feel great, but I just like feel odd. Like, I just feel off come like three o'clock. But anyways, I'm also just gonna go most into your album because I really haven't had a chance to, and then I'm gonna head off to the studio. And I'm recording with Olivia of The Clear Cut, which I'm really excited for. Um, it's like, I don't know anything about weddings or wedding bands or whatever, but she has The Clear Cut, which is like, diamond engagement rings and stuff is really cool um but anyways i'm really excited for this episode i have so many good episodes coming up like seriously we've stacked guests this month you guys are gonna be really excited for who i'm like recording with in the next coming weeks but yeah i'm gonna head off listen to music and get in a better mood oh, oh. 
Okay, whatever you are ready to begin. Okay. Dun dun dun. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome back to the I Love You So Much podcast with me, Kenzie Elizabeth, and my producer, Taylor. Like, I don't want to leave my bed, so even going to CVS sounds like a lot. So that's where I've been, but I am just really fully relying on some hot Pilates to make me feel better today because I read that he and like the sauna and stuff makes your nose feel better. So I just really think that the cure to legitimately every single problem I've ever had in life is hot Pilates. But today's guest is really, really exciting. We have Lindsay on from Set Active. I'm sure every single person, every one of you probably listening to this podcast knows what Set Active is because Set Active Wear is all over. It is hitting Instagram by, it's taking Instagram by storm. Everyone is wearing it. I have a set. I absolutely love it. Perfect. Quick and easy. You come in, is it this Wednesday? Wednesday. Or is it next week? No, I come back on Wednesday and then... Oh yeah, you're right here. For I'm here Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm here um, next Friday too. And okay guys, update on my life right now. I literally just recorded an intro and I was like, I think Pilates will make me feel better, blah, blah, blah. And I think I just need to rest. I don't know. I'm feeling better. My body feels good. It's just this cold is so bad. And it's like so gross. I'm like, I had to literally, I look so sick. And to record with Gus, the recording was great, but oh my god, it just feels so awful. So I'm actually gonna pick up Quinton. He's gonna help me with some stuff tonight. Um, he needs help for his move. So I'm gonna um, do some of that stuff. But, anyways, yeah, I am heading to pick him up and then I'm gonna go home. Oh my gosh, my face looks so crazy. So we will see. Also, question I need to go to um, New York in March to record. A bunch of episodes for my podcast who would you guys like to hear from new york on my podcast um i already have recorded with natalie barbu that episode's coming soon or i need to actually do my calendar i have so many episodes to be recorded so yeah we'll see okay guys looking a little bit rough still not just doing the best but um we're about to head off to home depot really quickly and then we're gonna grab dinner at chipotle and then i'm gonna keep watching scandal i think i'm gonna do like a mini q a too when we get back but I'm really um, watching so many shows this year. That's very good for me. Most people's New Year's like resolutions would be to be like more productive and mine is still like chill um, and actually watch shows and not work all the time. So, or be on my laptop and stuff. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Quentin is just being very slow today. So, we're really working on that. We got it. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, like you know it's a slow day when you're wearing the best J. Crew. Pajama pants, gift from the best girlfriend in the whole I world. I forgot I even got those for you. No, they're amazing. And the jacket. And, ooh, I, I love you so much. Ooh, and the chain she got me. Is it hidden? Maybe it is. Whoa. But, uh, I am a great girlfriend. Wait, you. you wait, got I me actually did get that shirt too. You got me this, this shirt. This is not normal, guys, but. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, the merch wasn't like, but you know what I mean? Whatever. You know, I'm just the most supportive boyfriend in the whole world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, That's what it is. <laughs> Okay, we're at Chipotle getting dinner. Um, this is my bowl. I just got brown rice, sofritas, black beans, uh, lettuce, corn, mild. Yeah, there we go. Please ignore my backseat. It's returns that I was supposed to do last week and haven't done. Um, anyways, not feeling my absolute best, ladies and gentlemen, but I am going to be filming a little Q&A for you guys because I feel like um we should just catch up and i don't know i just wanted to do that for this vlog so i'm going on instagram sorry that i look like rudolph the red nosed reindeer also guys if you remember over vlogmas winter break when i had that crazy skin reaction um my whole body is falling apart as of the last month but this is the dry patch that i have from that like everything else like my skin completely cleared up besides that so yeah we're going to be answering questions what is your go-to meal Okay, that's actually a good question. I think I want to shut this off. Yeah, I do. My go-to meal, I think, to make, um, I really like brown rice pasta with kale and broccoli. It's like my go-to go-to. Um, yeah, I feel like that actually just is my overall go-to. I don't really make anything else. Or I do make other things, but... Or I'll do salmon and vegetables. Those are like my two go-to. And I make my salmon in my air fryer, which is my favorite thing ever. Tips on joining a new church, school, club, whatever, alone. Um, never be the person that's like, oh, they didn't talk to me because like 9.99999 times out of 10, you also didn't talk to them. I think it's pretty rare for people to actually just like straight up ignore you. So I think um, 
just talk to people like people for the most part are like trying to figure it out and like see if you're new or whatever depending on where you're at but I think just like literally just go talk to people I know it sounds kind of simple slash like maybe a little bit intimidating but honestly like you might even meet someone else who's new who is scared too how to deal with sucky roommates um okay so I've for the most part actually have really good roommates um yeah I don't know I think it's totally dependent because I've never had to share a room with someone or anything like that I've always had my own room um but I think just handle it in the most mature way possible and like your roommate does not have does not like owe you anything socially you don't have to be like best friends like they don't have to bring you somewhere whatever like I think people go into things when they're like doing their whole life with their roommate and like that is where it gets tricky because it's like you can't have a life outside of them and then one person's like hey like I love you but like maybe I do want like my own thing and that person like thinks that you hate you know what I'm saying um I think it's just healthy to have a life outside of them and just like be really respectful um nothing's that deep don't be too don't get mad about things like um just talk like my roommate and I'll be like oh hey can we clean the dishes and it's like literally like, not the big it's literally not a big deal at all so least favorite thing about LA I love LA um I think the least favorite thing I just don't really love how spread out a lot of things are just in the sense of like I don't like that I'm not like five minutes from my friends if that makes any sense um and my family's not here but like it's not really anything about the city it's just not like I wish that all of my friends lived in one neighborhood so we were really close but what you don't realize about LA is that people can live like an hour from you like Morgan for instance at night lives 15 minutes from me but during the day it's like an hour drive or it can get up to that so thoughts on you season two so i finished you season two i personally loved it i actually liked the second season a lot um i just like i'm curious to see how the show like where the show goes because i feel like it could get really repetitive but also like i love it and i like that the end was like a little bit of a twist so like it's maybe not gonna be the same thing we'll see but i liked it i'm getting a lot of questions on me and quentin's love language love languages in this q a i'm physical touch and uh quality time for how i receive love and then i give loving gifts and quality time and physical no i think i give mine in gifts and physical touch and then quentin receives in physical touch touch and um words of affirmation i can't speak um okay what is your favorite type of video to make i think my favorite type of video to make will be vlogs and I also like routine videos, but comment down below what your favorite type of video to watch is. Would love to know. How are you doing? I'm good. A little bit sick. Um, really liking my life right now. So yeah, I feel like this year is going to be like really, really good. What was your biggest lifestyle change from 2019 you're going to keep for 2020? I think I just got so into working out and like on a really good like workout routine. And then I started cooking a lot more. Those are the two things that... Um, I really changed in 2019 that I'll continue to keep up with. Where do you get your workout sets from? Lulu, Fabletics, some of them are aloe. Majority of Lulu and Fabletics, honestly. Quinn is coming back with my tissues. Okay, so that is it for today's q and I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to go watch Scandal and... Wow. Q&A or Q&K, you know? Q&K? Two options. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here are my tissue options. I heard VIX is really soothing. That's oh. puffs, but then there's the Kleenex. That one has the soothing lotion. Thank you so much. Quentin came and saved the day yesterday and brought me so much stuff, but I literally already went through a whole box, so. Here we are, people. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlogs. Um, I'm gonna have um, Lucetta Beauty linked down below, so don't forget to check out their shampoo and conditioner and hair mask if you guys are into that sort of thing i'll have it linked down below but love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and wait is your nose running you better go catch it okay you were really waiting for that you have i feel like you haven't been saying that many dad jokes lately i know i've been charging up for the new year 2020 it's like big doing... things popping big things popping so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog subscribe because you're new here i love you guys so much and i will see you guys soon bye